Hey guys, it's me, Chrissy Fu here again, and I'm coming to you guys today to talk about some products that I've really been loving. I won't necessarily say it's a, a favorite video because I don't know. I get, I guess, I, I try different things so frequently that it's hard for me to have favorites and things that there's products that I will continue to use but to say I have a favorite and I stick to this product that will be inaccurate because I don't stick to a specific set of products throughout okay so these products these one two three four five like six products that I really 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 have been loving so I'm just going to call this things I've been loving products I've been loving there's a combination of makeup skincare and hair all right so i'm just going to get started and the first thing i want to make mention of is this elastic qp olive oil and mango butter anti-breakage leave-in conditioner this is what it looks like so white and any labeling is green and that's it there so i've been really loving this it smells heavenly this smells really really lovely. I you I have used a leave-in conditioner before and it has been the um the shea butter leave-in conditioner, it's a white and a sort of orange cap. But I've been trying this because you know I am natural. I have another my little braids, you know. But I am natural, so I do put this in my hair look especially since I have in braids like I spray a little bit of water in my spray bottle just to get me here you know moistened up and then I add this and then I add um either shea butter or um a oil in between just a little for it to hold for my hair to hold moisture because my hair is really dry and it sucks moisture so this has been a product that I have to make mention of alright so going on to let me stick to hair. So this shampoo, this Talia Wahid Curls, Waves, and Naturals. It's a clean and curly hydrating shampoo. It says it cleans, moisturizes, and hydrates hair. It controls frizz, controls frizz, sorry, enhances curls, softens hairs, and stops tangles. So this is what it looks like. I know the bottle is kind of sinking, sorry about that, but this is so you have a clear idea of what it looks like. Okay, it doesn't want to, but this is what it looks like. I got both these products at Hair City. This is for $50, and I got this at $59, I think. Pretty pricey, but when it comes to natural hair, you know you need specific types of shampoos that's going to work for you and it's going to keep on hydrating your hair and as naturals. The new thing is the co wash now. Why am I saying it? I rarely co-wash. Once I'm, once I'm clean, washing my hair, I do shampoo and condition. I don't co-wash. Only reason being because I don't wear my natural hair out, so I don't. Um, so it's not like I'm sucking anything out of my hair by using shampoo and conditioner. When I do wash my hair, is because it really needs washing. Because it's always in protective styling. So. The need to co-wash is not is not something that I would do personally because I'm, my hair is always in a protective style. So it says, but this has my hair so 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 and so moisturized when I'm finished using it. And even my mother started using my shampoo and it, and she finished it. And her hair is relaxed and she thinks it works good on her hair even though she is relaxed. It's pretty weird, but this is really really good. I really have. To make mention of this, so this is Italia Wahid Curls Waves and Naturals Clean and Curly Hydrating Shampoo. Um, you guess it on the face on the skin care. I have to make mention of this Clean and Clear Morning Boost Facial Cleanser Oil Free with Boosting Beads Wakes You Up, Rinses Clean with Vitamin C and Ginseng. All right, this is what it looks like. I have to be the first one to admit, and I'm not good at the whole cleaning, moisturizing, toning, hydrating, whatever the big steps are when it comes to my face. I do take off my makeup 
every night or when I do hair makeup I, I take it off by night time but to say that I always have like a, a skincare routine per se that I always have to follow these steps I'm not good at it so having this cleanser it is the bomb the bomb 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 because it doesn't my face doesn't feel stripped it feels clean and it feels like it has done its job but it's not stripping and my face doesn't peel or anything like that and when I'm finished my um, cleansing I use a moisturizer by Neutrogena I'm sorry I don't have it with me now but I will make mention of it later on when I get more used to it and that um, moisturizer has been lovely to me it's been it's really been lovely but this product right here if you're looking for something to cleanse your face when you're finished taking off your makeup and you want that cleansing this is a product that I have to make mention of, mention of because it does work for me all right so the last three to see items are makeup items and the first thing that I want to make mention of is this LA girl pro concealer HD definition all right this is it I think everyone their mama and their grandmother cousin nanin everybody using this everybody wants it and I know I'm wonderful world is out of stock of it frequently. So the place that I get mine is Sassilicious, and that is in Port of Spain. I'm, I'm not sure of any other place that um that retails this, but I know once wonderful world because wonderful world never has the shade that I use. They never do. So I have I purchased mine and I use um I use two. I use fawn and I use warm honey. I use warm honey to highlight under my eyes and my chin, forehead, down, bridge of my nose. Um, before I used one when I used to use phone and I just used to use phone. Um, that's before I started the whole highlighting thing. I just used to put phone on and like some face powder and it used to work pretty good for me. So I guess I can use phone as sort of a, a foundation, but it really does conceal it really does work. But I use one honey. This is one honey I put my hand, I use this to highlight. To get my highlights um I think I can go a bit lighter and I will try but for now I'm sticking with this because it looks a little bit more natural if I'm going for like a really 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 highlighted look like ghostly look then I, I may try to get something lighter but as I said if wonderful world doesn't have it because they never have my shade I get it from sassy delicious which is a store on Queen Street in Port of Spain all right the next makeup item is this black opal oil absorbing press powder and this is in classic espresso this is what it looks like i know it looks a little light on camera sorry for blinding you guys i know it looks a little light but i actually use this to show contour i know it looks like it matches me but in for sun um, when I'm when I use this warm honey to highlight, I, I get really really like a kind of white ghosty look. So I use this powder. Sorry about the lighting. So I use this powder to to highlight, you know, just to give back some color into my face so it matches the rest of my skin. One um powder that I've been looking for and I know that will work really well is by um, Black Radiance and it's, that's their pressed powders. I will be purchasing that really really soon and I will um, compare how the black opal and how the black radiance works in terms of what I wanted to do. So the final thing or things that I want to um, bring mention to you guys is are these um, lip paints. I got them from Tress Bell Cosmetics which is a boutique in San Juan or Essicoro whichever one you want to um, say. I have three colors here. I have this pink, it's like a really bubblegum bright pink. I have a sort of pink, peachy sort of color. They're two different sets. Well, I can call them both pink, but in person, this one looks like a more pink peach sort of color. And I got a red, of course, because you can never go wrong with a red. I love these lip paints. This is what, let me try to open them so I can show you guys what it looks like. This is what they look like. They actually look like paint. But when you put them on, they don't, um, they sort of got matte. So they're really, 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 really good to work with them because, you know, sometimes everyone loves a smart lip. 
and when you apply them it's really 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 good to work with because you can you have the control so to say of how matte you want your look to be or how um what's the word glossy like how in the blue you see a sort of sheen coming from it you can get that with these lip paints or you can get it to be extremely matte it just depends on how you work with them i got these for um $25 for the sample jar and then they have a tube something like this for about $75 you can check them out on Facebook their Facebook page if you're interested and they have all different kind of colors they have all sort of crazy colors as well but I just decided to go with these three colors because they said that these are the lime prime dupes I'm not sure the lime prime names but they said that these are the lime prime dupes so I said you know what if I can't get the real thing I might as well get the juice but they do have like really exuberant colors like with green blue orange yellow like if you're really into makeup and you are a makeup artist and you know carnival is coming up and you know if they're gonna have some out there clients who's gonna request who's gonna want these out there colors these are great for you guys because a little goes a long way with these so that's it for my mentions these are just products that i wanted to mention to you guys and bring awareness so that you can know because i've been loving them and i want you guys to try them out and love them as well so if you um, have tried any of the products that I've mentioned please feel free to leave it down below and leave your opinion your view your comments about them if it didn't work for you leave them down below as well so in future in case it decides not to work for me I can look forward I'll have an idea of what's going to happen so thank you guys for watching my video and I hope you guys you know got to gain some knowledge from what I, I came to share so yeah that's it bye